Hello, 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 it's me, your boy, Alex after, um, if you guys watched the two getting over videos, back to back yesterday, my thort, thort, my thort is very sore, today, I'm sure you cannot imagine why, uh, man, it sucks, gotta be honest, like a part of me was really like hating myself for that. That was such a fun video to record. Uh, yeah. We're just playing some Minecraft. We're just we're just playing some Minecraft. This is hell. This building is hell. I don't. I wish I could stop this now. I really do. We are nowhere near finished with all the glass, at the very least. <laughs> yeah, I need more. I uh, actually I have a good amount of spruce wood. Actually, I wanna I wanna put some down because I wanna do the roof uh, spruce. Okay, now we're doing we're doing pretty all right for ourselves. I know we need that. I decide against the panes, honestly. Because I think they look bad, but just just cause I was like, nah, I didn't really like them. I think I'm gonna go with the door, or the spruce door for the entrance. And then I don't know. I I really like the spruce door, but. Yeah, I think I'll go with this restore because I feel like I gotta keep the the vibe. Uh, man, I feel tired. I feel awful today. Nothing some good old Minecraft can't fix. <laughs> uh, no, I just I just want I just want I just want to play some Minecraft. I am out of coal. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. That's fine though. We'll figure something out. Uh. The question is, do we make charcoal or do we keep mining? TBH, I don't really want to go mining. But at the same time, I, I definitely should. As making charcoal is just a waste of wood. Gosh. There's so much to talk about, but so little. So if you guys are hardcore fans of the channel, you know that I am a... Oh, ooh, that's going to bother me. Actually, I, I like that. I'm so stupid. Why did I do it like that? Um, you'll know I'm taking AP Calculus. <laughs> AP Calculus is like two weeks from now. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous, dude. I I know. I think I'll pass. I really do. Like I I really think I'll pass. But if I don't. Dude, I, oh, D dude! I mean, Sapuku is uh, it's definitely something to consider. <laughs> like, I'd be crushed. Like, really, I need coal. I don't want to go down there. I can't go down there. It's not worth it. You know what I think I'm going to do? Oh, uh, that's not true. I got to go protect my villagers. We're going to go to the spruce biome. <laughs> I 
Now we're gonna cut down a bunch of trees. We're gonna fill empty inventory. I need more emeralds too. Huh. What was I doing down here? I think that was a huge like vein. That or I really need cobblestone, but and that whole mess. I need a looting sword too. I put no I didn't put a little back hole on them. There you go. I want you all separated. Actually, you guys don't deserve any space. I literally just need to make sure that you all won't die. That's fine. I can I can get everything out of there again. Why did I put the chicken in there? Uh, where are the cords? Uh, forty nine seventy two one six 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 nine seventy two. One, six, six, six. There we go. Smack the crap out of him. I need a bed, too. Hey, guys. Y'all don't mind if I borrow a bed, right? Which part of the one you guys weren't using? Why'd I do that? Why'd I not... If I'm going in here to get the bed, I might as well just get all the beds. Uh, yeah. Cool. I'm sure you guys are like, well, Alex, why do you put all these trees up around your base if you're not going to use them? that I say shut up uh I mean the honest answer is I will use them obviously but uh right now I, I need wood fast and with that I have to chop down replant should then chop down more you know with the planting clear out a piece of little prime real estate which yes I do understand is like not technically the most prime it's pretty far away from my village and there's this huge forest in the way but again forests are really easy to, cl to clear there's like being t brutally honest Oh, uh, and we should definitely mine. Actually, we really shouldn't, but I'll, ha I'll have to make do with mining. I simply need the copper. Too bad. One thing I wondered. Okay, you can do that. That's cool. Uh, I 
I could get us a few more stacks. Uh, we'll think about it. Watch us just suffocate and die. I've actually had dreams about this world where I like I, I just straight up die. Literally. I hate those dreams. Oh, dude, look at all that copper. There's even iron. But we can't. We came here for one thing and one thing only. And that's wood. Which is to make charcoal. So why don't I just use the oak wood? It's a really good question. I wish I had bones. I would definitely tame that dog. I could probably... I'm a little hesitant. It's fine. We're here. And there's sand here. Ooh. And look at that. Sugar cane, guys. Oh, I'm whispering. Uh, yo, foxies. What? Why did I say that? Foxes. Y'all use Discord? Genuine question. I really thought about it. Like, I'm not getting into it. Like, not like, a, oh, I want to create a Discord server for the channel. Wait, but like... I think Discord is a great way to communicate, and I have a lot of issues with communicating with people. Like, just I, I, I have for the longest time. Like, it's really weird to describe, you know, because it's not like it's not like one of those things where it's like, well, people need to talk to me and only focus on me. It's more so a thing like. I feel so inexperienced. Like, talking to people makes me so genuinely nervous. Yeah, I'm sure I'm super weird for that. But, really does. It's like a lot of people on Discord seem so nice. Because I'm at a few Discord servers, you know? Gotta be real. For some games I play, for some subreddits and everything. A lot of them I feel are kind of lame. It's like, I don't know, it's just, it's it's a culture, right? It's a cultura that I like to participate in to, to some degree, you know, not like an addict. Like some of my like friends at school are just deranged. <laughs> like, but it's, it's so interesting. I hate the word interesting because I always say it talking about things always describe things as interesting because even though I do I do genuinely believe that it's interesting interesting is the exact wrong word for it like interesting is a horrible word to describe it because interesting can be so like generic like oh yeah this thing is really interesting oh what is it it's my my little pony collection like what no, but when you get specific, and mysterious isn't specific, don't don't believe that, right? But mysterious at least defines it better, right? In my mind, because whenever I say, "Oh, it's so mysterious," rather than like, "Oh, this is, this is intriguing," I really wonder. You're like, "Oh, okay." Mysterious, you know, but like interesting, interest like. Is that... That kind of looks like a desert, actually. Uh, oh, we're going to go until my axe breaks. But, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just a part of culture that I don't get to experience on a daily basis, you know? I, I really, I've been, I recently have been really struggling with the idea of, like, talking to people, you know, because it's like, what, I want you to genuinely think here for a second, and just pause the video for, like, five seconds, after what I'm about to say, uh, and, like, think to yourself, what is a friend? I, I'm not saying that in, like, a mean way, like, you don't have any friends, everybody's out to get you, I'm saying that in, like, a thoughtful, insightful thing, like, if someone's like, man... 
you're a really good friend to me. Why are they saying that? That answer is because... Or if you're saying that to somebody. The answer is because there's someone to talk to, that's fine. If that answer is... I don't know. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm just curious. Because to me, I don't know what a friend is. I've had friends. I've had best friends. I've never really met a person that I truthfully, like, hate it. I think everyone's, like, a complex person. You know, nobody... A lot of people don't hate Tyrion Lannister, despite him being a pretty morally bad character within the scope of A Song of Ice and Fire and Game of Thrones, right? But people like him because he's morally complex. In the first book, he's set up and framed for murder, where he has to escape by his own intelligence, charm, and wit. No one was there to bail him out. And at most, the only thing that really helped him was the Lannister name. Now, with that came the promise of gold. That and his charming of Bronn on the way. Again. Super minor, but... That's importance to Tyrion's character, right? That is something... That makes him complex. He didn't do this bad thing that he was accused of. And instantly he was believed. Or instantly he was betrayed. Despite him doing things like. Although Catelyn had no way of knowing it at the time. Giving Bran her. Uh, like a thing to help him walk again. Sending his genuine condolences. That type of stuff you know. He felt very bad about what happened to Bran, despite ha taking no part in it, because he can identify with that. I mean, I think that, like, there's a reason why the stereotype of the bullied kid is actually, like, being bullied at home, and that's because it's true. You know, not always, right? And I'm not saying that excuses bullying, but that's, like, the truth of the matter. That very rarely are people just, like, you know what? I'm a bully a kid. Why? I just want to. No. It's very rare. A lot of times they're you know, mistreated at home. Uh, I finally looked into like some of Sigmund Freud's theories. There were a lot that I kind of went like, no, I don't. I think you. I think you swung and you miss on this one, Sigmund. Like, uh, yeah. I, I think that. Like, we all have that attraction to our parents is absolutely true. And, you know, not not to, like, uh, wow, I mean, like, there's a lot of this going on. That's This is a really oddly generated tree. That's kind of cool, actually. I really like that. It's a naturally spawning thing. And you guys were here to witness it, so nobody can... Why, nobody can say I made it up, he... Time to get it down. Uh, I'm sorry. I keep doing the voice. Uh, and this one's too. That's so weird. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, I think that what a lot of he said, or what a lot, a lot of what he said was very true. Like, I think that, that if a man in, the leadership position doesn't assert himself as the man of the house. That can really mess a kid up. I think there's right that there's definitely some intimidation there. I really disagree with what he said about like the idea of penis envy. And the reason why I say that, or like uh, women are always going to have that. They're going to grow up with it, and then they're going to be submissive to men. Like that was the only possible thing. That's that was a huge downside to his theory, like, I felt like that was probably, like, the biggest L he took. I mean, I haven't read all of it, I just watched a few YouTube videos, but it's just interesting, because I find that to be very true. You know, at least in, like, observable things. You know, it's just, that's just one of those things.
I think that the further we go in life, it, the, like, the more intimidating everything gets. You have to get over your intimidations, because if you just live with them, that's not, that's not good for you, right? At least, I don't, I would not consider that to be good for you. I think that at a certain point, you have to, you let go of being intimidated to, you know, talk to a girl. I can't believe I just did that. Aye, aye, aye. Um. Uh, I just bumped that microphone. I think that. I thought they were going to box away. I think that the world is constantly developing. People are constantly developing, right? I don't think there's a bad person. I think people do bad things. And no, I'm not, like, saying that, like, terrorists are justified or anything. I'm merely providing additional context that sometimes, like, people lash out for attention. Like, that's a common thing that happens. Again, I'm not saying that's okay, but it's just, it's one of those things, right? It's one of those things where you're presented a choice every time you notice it happening or it happens, right? Is one, you can ignore it. You're like, you know, maybe this person is having a bad day. Or, or tell them to get bent, basically. <laughs> Most people would go with the get bent option. And I, I, think that's, I think that's fair. I think that's respectable. Like, I think that, I think that everybody. Okay, so I want you to think about this, right? However, so. You are 18 years old in this example. You just turned 18 six seconds ago. Now think about every single person that was in your graduating high school class. And let's just say all of you guys were born on the exact same date, exact same second. What? How many are there? Like 100? 200? 300 maybe? Some, some of my huge high schools, there's thousands. Thousands. And once you take that number 18, 18 years, 18 years of, you know, that time you got rejected by a girl, that time that your friends, you know, hazed you for, you know, wearing a stupid, like, shirt to, to a party or whatever, you experienced that and, and you had an emotion about that. You had a thought, you know, nobody is, nobody experienced that. I was like, well, that was fun. No, you had a thought, and it might have been, oh, man, dude, my friends are dicks. Or it might have been, oh, I, oh, it might have been genuine disappointment. Who knows? But the thing is, is that that's just one second. We as human beings are comprised of tiny molecules that that, that, that make up our, our brain matter. That's insane. It not only is it amazing that humanity can ex exist at all, Assuming that you believe in, like, the Big Bang and evolution, which you should, by the way, but uh, that's my hot take for the day. It's insane to think how lucky we got that we were in the perfect spot and we got the requirements to ev to evolize. <laughs> uh, you know, it's just, it's just crazy. It's just crazy to think that happened to us, right? And, and then, you know, may maybe, maybe you live in a crappy part of the world. I can accept that not everybody is as blessed as me, uh, but I don't. I, I live in America, and America has its flaws. I think that everybody who lives in America can should at least recognize that, but America is not like Pakistan. <laughs> you know, it's not, it's not Ukraine. You know, it's not these places where you can just, just walk out in the streets and get shot. And granted, that does happen, but it's like, it's not comparable, right? If you were a gay man, born in, like, Afghanistan, like, I got bad news for you, you know? It's just, like, that. that's how it is, right? I have, I have nothing in, oh, well, okay, that's not, my feelings on these countries are very complex, and some of them are pretty harsh. Most go along the lines of, wow, I can't believe that there are still actively, like, laws out there that are like, oh, not only is gay marriage illegal, but if you, like, do something bad. Don't we don't care? 
but whatever that that's a whole different discussion but the point is is that every single person has each an individual little memories and experiences you might not have paid attention during your teacher's lecture about the effects of climate change on native americans right you probably didn't i mean who cares but the one student who did heard that was like wow that's a great that's so true then they then they made that into their thesis then they got a college degree in it. and before you know it then they're an expert in that field and they're doing amazing things to help save the native population all 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 of these tiny experiences that we experience within ourselves are all can congeal congeal to become us you know the the concept of being human is, is silly and i mean that it's silly in terms of everybody is human you know people talk about oh man all these npcs whenever people do weird things but as much as i think that the like phrase walk a mile in my shoes is kind of dumb because it's like why i don't need to like i don't need to walk a mile to experience what you're experiencing because everybody experiences very similar things right but i think that it goes deeper than that i think that we're all unique and the sooner we can realize and accept that that nobody's bad no no baby is born and it's like man i really want to kill some people that doesn't that doesn't happen no no baby is born is like you know i really think that i'm going to do something awful to six women at 30 years old. All these things happen to change us. And it's just interesting because, you know, the truth of the matter is, let's just say there's 100. And let's just say there's 10 students. Assuming that you live through their life front to back, 10 students in your graduating class where everybody's 18 exactly, 10 students, that's 180 years. That's 180 years of a combined experience. You you physically cannot, like, watch that. You know, you physically cannot learn every single intricacy of their life. And that's the part that really gets me. That even with 10 people, you know, I know 10 people. You have to know 10 people. I don't believe anybody exists on the world and doesn't know 10 people. You don't have to know them personally. You just have to be able to picture them in your mind. And I'll imagine, think about how old they are. Think about all the things that have happened to you, and maybe even just last year, with the, I don't want to say conclusion, but like the winding down of COVID, the the political atmosphere, and, and now this Russia-Ukraine thing. Think about your emotions on that. They had those too. Probably not to the same extent as yours. They're probably much different i mean maybe if you know them really well then you can picture them like how it would be in their mind but generally it's gonna be more so like uh oh okay it's gonna be something where you're sitting back like wow i did i didn't i didn't, I didn't know you thought that i you know i mean i think that i think that we are hurtling Towards this idea that you know people are people are tools, and I feel like that's one of the major downsides on the internet is you forget that people are people. I mean, I forget that people are people too. I forget that YouTubers are people to a certain degree. You know, it's like I like the internet more than anything, but I, the internet's flawed. Everything's flawed. This is really long winded and I'm really sorry about that, but I, I really do mean it that I think that we as humans, we as a species, can never have true knowledge or can never truly know everything. And I think that I think it was like a Socrates or Plato quote that was, I'm a wise man because I know that I know nothing at all. And I think that's, I think that's a really good quote. 
because we don't know anything. I, I mean, truly, sure, I, I know a lot about Minecraft. I mean, I can tell you how to make an iron golem. Oh, that's, who cares? Who, who is sitting there like, man, if only someone could tell me how to make an iron golem. No. What people are doing is sitting there being like, man, why is the sun yellow? I'm sure we can, we can guess that, but who knows? Maybe it's just a huge light bulb. With a really highly simulated or simulated aspects of being a star, genuinely no idea. We have no way of knowing, and that's the way it is. That's the thing. That's that's the human condition right there, and it's the most genuine state. People know nothing. It's just guesses. It's just estimations. It's just our best attempt at understanding. It's insane that my axe is still not broken yet. At least, that's my opinion. I'm... I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, because I, I feel like it's an important discussion. The idea of a... Another living, breathing person having a completely different perspective on life as you. You know, because it's hard. It's it's really, really hard to visualize that. Not because, oh, I don't even, I don't think real people are, I don't think people are people, or like, I think everybody around me is an NPC. Simply there, so that way they can give me the quest. But that's not true, right? Everybody is unique. If your friend says something completely stupid, like, what if the Mar what if Mars was actually like a government plant and it's not really there? There there were thoughts that led up to that. You know, even though it's completely nonsensical. There was still something in their mind that told them, you know, that Mars thing seems a little bit fishy. I wish I could find that ravine. I mean, that's the, that's just the truth of it. That's the truth of being human. Is that we can pretend. Like, we are someone completely unique, that nobody is as smart as me, and, you know, whatever we want. But, I mean, how true is that? Again, I really don't mean it in, like, a roast fashion, like, you're not unique. I mean it in, like, an introspective fashion, like, how can you really define the idea of being unique? Like, what really makes... You better than anyone else. I feel like you can't really answer that because sure you can take tests, but oh, on the, the day of that test, my my grandmother died. I was so like distracted, I couldn't even focus. That's not the score I would have gotten had it not. My grandma died six years before, and I haven't been the same since. You know, that type of stuff, and it's just like, what, you can't even, you can't even define, like, the idea of max proficiency. I'm at my max proficiency. No, you're not. You are simply not. Ow, owie, owie. You know, and I, I really, I feel, I feel like I'm probably rambling a lot a bit, but I think that it's really important. That people understand this. I'm not saying like. Ignore the world completely. You know. Or what? No. I'm not saying that like. Every single person. Deserves your complete and utter attention because 
you don't know what they're going through. I'm I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that it's okay that like I don't know, like uh, Ted Bundy like killed a bunch of women. I'm not saying that. If I am saying that, I don't mean to say that. That's not what I mean. But what I am saying is that there was a reason why Ted Bundy killed those women. It would, I mean, it was because he was crazy, but that's still a reason. You know, I'm sure there is something there with had to do with his like mother, father, or something. I don't, I don't know. You know, you you can never know. And truthfully, maybe he never, maybe he never killed those women. And I'm not, I'm not like jumping to Ted Bundy's defense here or anything. What is that noise? It's a fox. What I'm trying to say is that humans are complex. Humans are not just, you know, they're, they're, not, they're not like a dog. You know, you can tell a dog to drop a toy. How did I get so mixed up? I don't understand. Oh, because I'm going the wrong way. That makes so much sense. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna get home. And that's gonna be the end of this episode. I really feel like I probably talked a lot in the circle, but I think that it's a very interesting concept. You can never know everything. Sure I can tell you the square root of pi. <laughs> yeah. You can't. <laughs> but I can't tell you what Samantha thinks about Sadie. Can't tell you if Samantha is, I don't know, doing something like patting her chest. <laughs> you know, I, obviously I'm joking, but like, have you seen Samantha naked? No, you haven't. So if I make a claim, you have no factual way of disproving it. Sure, it'll be like, no, dude, you're lying. And I'll be like, I, I am. But still, to a certain extent... I mean, there's a... Oh, that's a dark orc forest. Oh, we gotta go this way. How have I done this to my... How have I messed myself up so bad? Dude, someone has to just put a bullet in my brain, dog. Um... I am S. Moy Brain Dead. Sorry, I got really quiet there. I was just thinking that, like... Oh, there we go. That's jackpot. But I mean, when I say, I think that... Humans are all different. There's no way of knowing everything, right? There's one teacher I really like. Her name is Miss Rayford. Shout out, huge shout out to Miss Rayford if she's, for some ungodly reason, ever finds this channel. Uh, I'm like, embarrassingly, that I'd be horrified if she ever found out. I have, like, kind of a big crush on her. <laughs> you know, and obviously I'm... I understand that I'm some stupid kid. It's it's not gonna go anywhere. It doesn't really matter, but it I maybe Miss Rayford does, but a part of me doesn't think she does. You know? And again, maybe she does. It doesn't really matter, you know? It's just like it's not a secret. You know. Uh 
I mean, it's like a secret to an extent. But the, my point is, is that like not everything's a secret. But just because you never get a chance to learn means that you you will never know. You know, like if you never ask a girl out, I mean never. And you've liked this girl for a really long time. Maybe she probably like it. She she very well. I don't want to say probably. She might like you back. I'm not saying this to give you like false hope. I'm saying this because statistically, I'm sure someone has to. I can't be the only person who likes you. Mm. Uh, I just bit my lip there for the extra, extra dramatic effect. Ow. But yeah, I think that I mean, really, that kind of concludes my thoughts. I, I, f I feel like there's a lot to say, but the issue is it's not all like written down somewhere, so it's not like I can read my notes. There's a lot of restating because I feel like I have to really state the importance of certain things, right? To state the importance of uh... You know, that, that people are inherently going to, like, hide secrets. You know, or not hide secrets, but people are going to inherently do things, right? I'm sure that somebody at my school does, is, does something weird, you know? Maybe it's, buys a bunch of action figures, I don't know. Again, that's not inherently weird, but I didn't know that. I would ask if you knew that, but I'm sure you didn't know that because you statistically definitely don't go to my school, I hope. Hey, if you go to my school and you recognize my voice, yo, leave a comment down below. I'll I'll give it a heart. Dox me. I dare you. I'll, do I'll heart that. I don't care. Uh, This is a really cool cave. Whoa. My pickaxe is about to die, though, dog. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure that somebody at my school does something odd. Like, almost to like a, oh, kind of way, you know? And it's not, that's not a bad thing, per se. It's just, you know, just because you never would have predicted it doesn't mean that it can't happen, is what I'm trying to communicate. That's my that's my thought process on the matter. Ouch. Oh, I also don't have an axe anymore. Pa. Got him. I'm not very good at combat in case you can't tell. A much more oh, okay. Much more of a builder. Yo, leave me alone, dog. Oh, he's just trying to return the torch. I'm sorry, dude. It's okay, though. You definitely could get that. Idiot. Um, no, I maybe. Mean, oh, is what I'm saying making sense? Am I just talking into the void here? <laughs> Does anybody even care? Does anyone find this as interesting as me? I don't know. They, you probably don't. That's fine. I get it. I'm sure that at one point in my life, I was. I thought this was stupid. I didn't know that that came in the deep slate or whatever. I think it is deep slate. Uh, deep slate such a cool block. Yo, mine shaft.
I wonder if you can only find them in caves. I found a few now. Uh. You know, I mean, there's just so much out there. There's this idea that you could meet the love of your life. Ooh, diamonds, diamonds. You can meet your, the love of your life tomorrow, right? Statistically, there's a chance. And the love of your life might go home same day. And do something awful. <laughs> Uh, y yeah. Yo, only the real ones know what I'm talking about. You know, it's like, yeah, no, that's statistically unlikely. Doesn't... I'm out of torches? Jeez. Why do I, why do I even have this? I want this. Yeah, give me this. Bye, Wes. This has officially concluded Alex's thoughts while playing Minecraft. Mm -hmm. I heard the word my name. I was like, ooh, I want in. Well, then, no, it can't have in. It's my cloud, Alexa. Oh, I just said her name again. Huh, that's pretty lucky. Uh. Not the cobblestone. Yeah, no. Oh, guys. This is gonna be rough. Logit World G load. Cool. Sick, even. I don't even know where I'll be coming up. Uh, yeah. No, now, 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 now I've gone full silent. Do you guys just want to conclude the episode here? That's what we're going to do, actually. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.